on this episode of the news! There is two new coming soon reveals for the Black Series. We've got glam shots of the Vintage Collection. The Vintage Collection for Force Friday already on the shelf. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television's Toy Showcase channel. Today on the show, we're going to start off with some rumors via yakface.com of two new Black Series figures. The first one, as you can see, I'm wearing, ooh, Mandalorian. Mandalorian figure. This one, put up that image there, is codename Bobby. Now, in the comment section of what Yakface put on Instagram, I had look people saying Bobby Fett, but <laughs> funny. But leave your comments down below what you think this figure might be. Bobby is the code name for this figure. It isn't rumored to be uh, Force Friday. It may be a little bit later. But yeah, very cool uh, figure from The Mandalorian. As we as we know, the show's coming. We don't know how many characters are going to be in the show. We know there's a core three. There's a couple extra ones we know because of Funko Pop have images on the back of a card or their little packaging that say there's more characters. This is another one of them. Bobby, who could Bobby be? The next six inch black series figure, rumored to be the Purge Trooper. The Purge Trooper I thought was the Inquisitor way back then, the, the second sister Inquisitor. No, 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 they're two separate characters, completely separate. This one here looks like an airborne trooper spray painted black. And I think uh, one of my subscribers, Death Metal Dave, pointed this out. Thank you to Death Metal Dave. I saw that in a comment online somewhere. Very true. This is a very cool looking figure. Another rumored down the track could be later on after the fact past Triple Force Friday. But this figure is rumored to be on the way. Coming soon. Yay! So the next figure we're going to talk about is one that Yakface rumored in May of this year was the Jedi Knight. Luke, oh, have I got a Jedi Knight Luke behind me? I don't. This Luke uh, is rumored to be in the Black Series. He has just been recently released in, I think, Wave 5 of the Vintage Collection. Nice six inch figure coming this now, but it is updated to be a Deluxe. Now, what's a Deluxe? The Deluxe can be either. So a deluxe, we think it is like a chunky pack like the Gamorrean card, and will it have on the side an exclusive? We don't know that as of yet. Could be a giant size box for a reason, or a deluxe as in D1 deluxe. There could be a two or three. We'd rumored that Zeb was gonna be number two, and the three might be this Luke in the Jedi Knight. That is just speculation right there. Why the big chunky box for a little tiny skinny Luke? It may be on an environmental base, much like we saw the Ray and the Luke as well, the Luke Acto and the the Ray on crate. You see these environmental bases that come with it. This might be with Luke. If he is episode three, maybe he's standing on a little bit of a uh, skiff or something like that. Don't know. Anyway, I'll turn them around so everyone can have a good look. Ooh, ooh, beautiful. Moving on. The Vintage Collection, as you've seen my videos recently, there's been leaks of what the Vintage Collection for Triple Force Friday looks like, and have a go at this, already on the pegs in Walmart, Canada. Can you believe that? They are selling in Canada for $17.97 Canadian dollars. That'll work out to be about 20 bucks Australian, $15 for you guys in the US, thereabouts. Interesting to see them out already. Also in Walmart, Canada's is the Black Series. This one was posted on a Facebook page, and they have them there at $29.97 Canadian dollars. Long line of them there. And look in the background, you can see a vintage card. I can see the Sith Trooper behind them all. So there you go. So thank you to my friend DJRitchie.com for the heads up on this. Excellent. Canada, you get it all the time. It's always like Toys R Us have it early. Your Walmarts have it early. Everyone else is like, how? How is this possible? <laughs> Lucky Canadians. Use a like on my list of like in the top five most watched viewers here on Usual My Television. Thank you very much. So now we turn our attention to the out of box shots. Now, as you know, we wanted to see the card backs for such a long time. We got the card back images. You can check out those videos. 
Now we've got the loose images. This comes from the Star Wars generation, and I don't know how they got their hands on them. Share these images, check this out here. Look at that Knight of Ren. The detail on it, once it's out of the plastic packet, you can see the weathering on the, the design of the helmet or the, the mask. Very cool. Moving on to Zori Bliss. Look at that. Immaculate. I know people said it looks a little Power Ranger-y like, but that is cool. I like that. Poe Dameron. Probably the best Poe we've ever had. The Sith Jet Trooper. Very sleek design. A little yellow thing on his chest there. And the Luke X-Wing. Very nice. Moving on to the Black Series, Wave 22, out of the packet. Very professional looking shots. I don't know if this is an online toy company or not. We'll put up their details on the screen. Start with the second sister. That looks very nice. That is beautiful. Really, really good because we've seen images in the boxes. You don't see all the detail or it's a real dark, gringy shot. This looks very nice. The Sith Trooper. Not the Jet Trooper. This is just the regular version of the Sith Trooper. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Some great detail on that red helmet. Or the, the helmet with the red through it. First Order Stormtrooper. Holding all his stuff, his shield and his gun. Next one is the Mandalorian. That's the clearest shot of the Mandalorian we've got so far. Very, very nice. The Jawa. The off-world Jawa in his soft goods stuff. See how light the outfit looks. It's very impressive. A couple of weapons with him as well. The Ray and Dio. She looks lovely. I like that. It's really, really pleasing, that Ray. I'm very happy with that one. The little droid has come with it, just like in The Force Awakens and BB-8. Now it's Dio. And speaking of companions, there's Cal Kestis with his little droid, and it is known as BD-1. It's not the clearest picture of him, but very nice to see out of the packaging. See the color schemes and all that. Very, very nice. Excellent stuff. These figures will be, like most of years who have been disenchanted with the past waves, this wave, everybody wants something from it. There's always someone's like keen on something, so excellent. I love them all. Being an action figure collector, I can't, I can't say any of them are duds. There's no bad looking figures in there. You can always speculate about, oh, the, the character is unpopular, but to me, some of them are just, just damn well sculpted, design, beautiful. Let's move on to some clearance news. This comes from Imperial Holocron on Twitter. Check out this. We have resistance figures on special, or on clearance, actually, because obviously whatever's on the shelf, they've got to clear it out to put the Force Friday stuff on the shelf. Singles are 30% off. Two packs are 50% off. And here's another shot from Action Figure Insider and a clearance on Toradoza and Poe on the pegs. They are very good figures. If you don't have any resistance figures, get your hands on them because they're not going to make any more and then you'll go back in, say, five years' time and say, oh, gee, I wish I had my hands on those. They're really hard to find now. So get them while you can. Cheap as chips. Something interesting for all you diehard collectors of Vader, I found this on Twitter from RT, RT Russia Today, the news channel. They put up this little video there. I didn't get the video. I got the freeze frame snapshot of it. The original Darth Vader helmet is to go under the hammer at an auction and expected to fetch half a million dollars. <laughs> it may be more if, we, if, if it gets out there and a super rich collector decides I want that. Worn by David Prowse in the original and hope. This is going to sell really well, and probably around the world, people will be like, you know, people who aren't Star Wars collectors will be like, oh, did you hear about that Star Wars helmet? Oh, oh, oh. Sold for millions. Excellent. Now I want to share with you some customs. I know I often show, share things like uh, dioramas and stuff. These are cool. These got brought to my attention from um, My World of Toys. Shared these. I love these. These look fantastic. They're made by a guy called Richard Williams. Farm Boy Luke. Look at that. With the binoculars checking out the sky. Even the card back looks very, very cool. And he is joined by Aunt Beru. That's a lovely card back. And Uncle Owen. Very, very cool. <laughs> I want to share them because I like that sort of stuff. That's, that's, very, that's very cool to see. Another one is from N8 Products. This one. 
remember the little teaser trailer if you haven't seen it close your eyes for a sec in the end there was a dark ray and this is what he made custom brilliant i love that na products always does custom figures of stuff that hasbro should make they should take ideas from this guy this is brilliant hope you've enjoyed today's episode i was going to do a collection update but this come to my attention lots and lots of news i'm excited i hope you are too thank you for watching let me know your thoughts down in the comments below lots more coming up on the channel real soon so stick around for that my affiliate aussie sci-fi collectibles for all your star wars marvel dc wwe and sci-fi needs check them out today link in the description down below if you'd like to follow me on social media i'm on twitter at usual mike 30 or on Instagram at usual Mike Television. If you like this, if you'd like to send some fan mail, it's PO Box 957 Lismore, New South Wales 2480 Australia. And I've got some merch. Chuck it up on the screen. All the shirts you can see on the screen right now are available in my Red Bubble store. If you like something you see, click the link down below in the description. Buying from the Red Bubble store helps out the channel, so thank you very much. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best!